It's a very popular model in the Integra line. This is a really good start for people that are afraid of driving on the road, but you feel more like you're in a truck, but you still have a good amount of length behind you. The Bills lost again. What a surprise. I'm officially switching teams. If you're going to be out in places where you might have a possibility of snow, good idea. Hey everybody, we're at Leo's Vacation Center out here in Maryland. Matt's RV Review's old stomping grounds. But behind us, we have a really popular Super C. This is the Integra Accolade XT. This is model floor plan 32U. This is a 2023 unit, priced very aggressively here. And we're gonna take you on a full tour. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this is right off a major road here. You might hear some background noise, so just keep that in mind. And now, it's raining a lot. And it's raining. So the Accolade is a very popular model in the Integra line. What they did with the XT, they did some off-road capabilities. Now, I don't know how much really off-road capable it is, but it does look pretty cool, and it does have four-wheel drive. So starting right up front, you can see the blacked-out package here, and then they put a lift kit, BDS lift kit, Coney shocks, which is really nice. And then if you look over here, it has that nice large bumper and then if you see there's also LED spotlights both on the bumper as well as on top of the front cap. So it's going to light everything up as you go down the road. Now regarding that front cap you can see there's a window glass on top. It's that one piece fiberglass so much less chance of something getting any kind of leak. It's kind of like a boat hull. There are seams underneath but the whole top is, is seamless. This is on the Ford F550 chassis so it does have the diesel motor 6.7 liter power stroke. We'll give you all the specs as we get a little further into this review. Full body paint on something like this. Now this is classified as a Super C this is not on a class seven or class eight chassis, but this does have 12,000 pounds of towing capacity. And this is four by four, like I said earlier. So if you're going to be out in places where you might have a possibility of snow, good idea. On any class C, super C, you have multiple points of entry. I do like over here, you get a little bit of shade. You're gonna see this cap, how big it is inside. You can see it's kind of protruding out. Take a quick look on the inside here your classic F550 chassis guys, nothing fancy in here. Now continuing down the passenger side, you have your side view camera. So when you turn your signals on, you'll see right down the side here, you do have a awning on the driver's side and very unique paint job. Some people like it, some people don't. Put in the comments below, what do you think about this paint job? Three steps as you go in. So if you have somebody that has mobility issues, you do have that step that's a little bit lower. Let's start opening some bays, guys. Now, with the Super Cs, you do get bay space, but you don't really get the true pass-through storage. So if you look in here, it's finished out with kind of like a rubber diamond plate finish, but it doesn't pass all the way, all the way through. And the reason is the engine's up front, you have the drive shaft running to the rear. So you kind of lose that. Aluminum doors, they close very easily. They're solid doors. Those all storage. This will be the exhaust for your furnace. This is a propane fired. Let's continue down the passenger side. And you can see here you have your propane tank and then some more storage. And this one's sealed off. And then a final little bit of storage here. And this also has an LED light inside. You also have the outdoor entertainment center with a radio, two speakers, as well as two power outlets, which is really nice. And I do like the way they do this. It sucks it in. I don't know if you can notice that, but look again, if you look, as I push, it's gonna suck. You see that, it sucks everything in. And then there's a lock. So that's gonna keep it nice and watertight. Frameless windows throughout, guys. Let's go to the back. This has a 12,000 pound towing capacity, large rear cap, rear camera, all LED lights. And then again, you have those LED spotlights to help you light up that campground. 12,000 pounds of towing. You also have ladder to the roof, which is also a nice thing. Now, interesting thing about Leo's here, we're on a hill, so it feels like I'm really tall right now, but not that, I'm not 10 feet tall, guys. So it's a double slide coach, both the slides being on the driver's side. You do have a tanked water heater, 10 gallon tanked water heater. Next bay going down the driver's side is your power bay. It's not on a power reel, but it is finished out with that diamond rubber finish. You also see the exhaust there for your generator. Now, very careful. 
Oh, there's wet leaves. There's all kind of hazards here for MJ. Here's your wet bay, guys. You have an outdoor shower. They give you a place for paper towel. And then this is like that Nautilus system. So it makes it kind of idiot proof. Wherever you put the different types of valve settings is how you would do whatever it says on here. You have your pump control here. You also have your satellite cable hookup as well as your black tank flush, city water. Everything is located centrally right here and it's located up in the bay. So we have four more bays here, guys. We have uh, another storage bay and in here you have your inverter. You also have another bay here, another storage bay with your pull for your dump. And you can see over here is where your dump would come out before you hook up your sewer hose. So right beneath this slide, you're going to have your fill for your diesel. Coming then to the last two bays, your bay over here will be your DEF fill, as well as the reserve tank for your hydraulic fluid. And then finally on the first bay, two house batteries. Before I get to the specs, you may be asking yourself, where is the generator? I didn't see a generator. It's actually located toward the rear, kind of mounted on the frame. I'm not really a big fan of that because it's going to be much more of a PIA to do any kind of service on it if you know what I mean. But let's get into the specs, guys. Gross vehicle weight rating, 19,500 pounds. The gross combined weight is 31,005. Front gross axle weight, 4,630 pounds. The rear, 7,700 pounds. The full length, 34,3. Width is 101 inches. Exterior height with AC and satellite, 12 feet. Interior height, 84 inches. Fresh water capacity, 60 gallons. Gray, 38. Black, 30. Fuel tank capacity is 67 gallons. And there's actually double diesel fuel fill. So I'm assuming they put another tank on there. And the wheelbase is 227 inches. So I'm done on the outside, guys. Let's go on the inside. Before we get to the interior, we would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Matt's RV Reviews with Liquified. Now, Liquified, we've been talking about Liquified for a long time since the actual came out with it and it is a phenomenal product it's taking the rv industry by storm it is an rv black tag treatment that literally does what the name says right it has special enzymes in there that liquefy the waste so when you dump it comes out as liquid great reviews on amazon guys if you're looking to get liquefied you can get it on amazon but they're starting to be in dealerships one of them leo's vacation center they have it right in the service and parts department ask for them or we're going to put our amazon link down below God, we're inside. Although it's not much warmer in here. This is your interior here. Good amount of space. So right when you come in, you have your levelers right to your right down there. And you're going to have all your light controls as well. And then right to the right. Well, actually, let me just show you this. You have a nice big storage cabinet up above the entry door there. Then we move to the bunk. So this is a very large bunk. I can't find the ladder. I was going to have Jason climb up here to see if almost 6'5 would fit in here. Yeah, you could definitely fit two adults. This has a 750 pound weight capacity so you can fit a lot of a lot of people up here yeah a lot of stuff all right you have a lot of you know storage space here you got some cup holders you do have outlets and usbs if you have kids and they have their devices or adults either you can use those you have the little netting here which is good to hold items if you want to keep them there during travel they're not going to go anywhere that beautiful window up front that does have a shade you can close to keep out the light but that's a really nice view if you're laying there wake up in the morning look out it's just gorgeous so i'm not going to get into the cockpit unless i walk outside which i'm not going to do but as izzy said it's your typical Ford truck chassis. Okay, you're going to have power windows, door locks. You're going to, you got some nice cup holders there. You can have the Ford Sync 3 infotainment center, your rear and side view cameras. You've got a tilted steering wheel. You have an eight way power driving seat. So a lot of comfort there. And again, it's great when you have the C because you have those different points of entry. And this is really good too. You know, a lot of people are afraid to drive a class A because of its size. This is a really good start for people that are afraid of driving on the road, but you feel more like you're in a truck, but you still have a good amount of length behind you. So guys, a lot of you, if you've watched us, you know that we've just recently got a new camera within the last few weeks. Let us know how it is. How does the sound, how, how does the sound look? How does the sound sound? And how does it look? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, let's move on into your dining area. So you have a dinette here. There is storage under the seats. So you just lift up that wood there. You've got some deep storage, so that's good. You can, I remember when we had our trailer, we kept a lot of our pots and pans and things that we couldn't fit in the kitchen area under there. This is also a sleeping area, guys. So this 
this is gonna come right out and you're gonna bring this down, okay? And this tucks under and you'll have an extra sleeping space. Again, you're not fitting a large adult there, but for kids, it's perfect. Then you have a beautiful Insignia TV that is on a televator. So you have a very large window behind that. When that TV is down, you're gonna have a gorgeous view with a lot of natural light coming in. It's really, really nice. So before I get to the living area with the uh, seats over here, I'm going to invite my assistant who's actually knee deep in work. If you watch this, you know, Jason is a senior in high school, was headed off to college next year. Yes, we will be telling you where he's going in the next few months, probably early 24, once we have it nailed down. He's taken two college courses though in high school. So he's literally been working this entire break. He's so good because we have this long, long weekend. So, but I'm gonna make him just shut the computer off for now and help me with this. The first thing is nice two theater seats. We've got theater seats, cup holders, some nice storage in here. You also have your powered recliners with some USBs in them, which is really nice. And another thing, if you guys notice, I'm in all Bills gear here. The Bills lost again, what a surprise. They're five and four. And I've got some huge news. I'm officially switching teams. I'm gonna join another fan base. So leave in the comment down below what team I should be supporting now. So another thing is the really nice cabinet space in here. You've got three cabinets with no dividers, which allows for a lot more space. And then you also have a couple of outlets up here. And then another thing that's really nice about this rig is you have your two ACs, one near the front and then one in the bedroom. And one thing I personally like about this rig is the height. So this is 84 inches in height, this rig. And you know me, Mr. Jolly Green Giant can't even fit in uh, tall spaces. So this is really good for my height. Kitchen area. So we have to start, we have an extendable countertop. I guess some big shoes to fill figuratively and literally. Thank you, Jason, for helping, by the way. Solid surface countertops here. You have a large stainless steel sink. Love in the sink. It's beautiful. And you have your sprayer here. This is an interesting, uh, Interesting spray. It's different. I really like it. But it has, like aesthetically, it looks, yeah, I mean, it's cheaper, but I like the, it almost has like a matte look. This is an L countertop, which is good. It, I like those because they, they do give you a lot of space. You have room here. You have power tower over here, which is great. And you can also keep appliances. So say you have a Keurig or coffee pot or something, there's plenty of room up here to put those. You have some cabinet space up above, pretty deep, so you can put your dishes and things in there. And then you have a two burner Furion induction cooktop. And you're going to have, here's your oven if you're wondering where your oven is. I like that they're matching. They both have two Furions, they have a Furion microwave. And this is going to give you the convection oven, which by the way, we love our convection. I know a lot of people get worried that it's not gonna work as well. We're really, really happy with ours. What I also like is that you have that long picture window out the kitchen area. So if you're sitting in the theater seats and you have the TV down, you have plenty of window space to look outside. So underneath here, it's kind of interesting. You have some cabinet space there, but then they give you a number of drawers. There's of course all your remotes. You have three drawers here. There's no soft clothes guys, no dovetail obviously on something like this. Okay, that's a deeper one there. And then you have one large one, which you could fit a garbage can, which is always good. You know what you just did? You just messed up because somebody's gonna yell at us in the comments because we opened every drawer and you don't, you don't need to do that. But if we didn't do that, somebody would yell no. at us because we didn't I know. Every somebody, you can't please everyone, guys. I usually do that to show people like the, you know, the depth of the drawers and things like that. But that's what the fast forward's for. This rig has an enormous fridge. So you have a Samsung French door fridge here. Look at the size of this thing. Huge. It's almost it's like almost, overkill. I was going to say, I think it's almost overkill. It, it is overkill for a rig this size. Yeah. Um, and then you have a freezer here like... This is something you're gonna see like on a 45 footer, <laughs> but hey, whatever. Something else I wanna mention guys, there's no carpet on the floors. All the vents are raised, which is good. So a lot of little things like that, you know, it makes it stand out. Then you have two pantry cabinets here. So you can fit a lot of food and other items in here. Then you have your Firefly system here. This is going to give you your tank levels. Loving the percentages. There's no fractions. I like the percentages better. This is where you're gonna control all your lights and you know, again, your, your batteries. You can see everything that's going on right there. Moving into the bedroom now, we start with, the, here's a, a good mirror for you. You have a lot of drawers here. These are adjustable shelving, not drawers, shelves, sorry about that adjustable shelves and then you have some deep drawers here so you have one two three of those 
Then turning around, you actually you do have a rod up there if you'd like to hang some things. Again, that's why you can move the shelves around how you see fit. You do have a door that closes off the bedroom from the rest of the living area, which is good. This coach is gonna have a king size bed, which is great. I mean, it's tight in here, but you have that king size bed, which is awesome. You also have three enormous cabinets above the bed. As you can see, no dividers, plenty of room. You can stack anything in there that you want. I like the window behind the bed. So you don't have a headboard there, but I like that. Waking up, you can kind of look outside. You have the side windows as well. On each side of the bed too, guys, you have this, it's kind of like a nightstand, but it's it's long. You have power, so you can, you're able to charge your devices right there, which is great. You do have some storage under the bed, so that's good. Then you have more storage. You have a sliding closet here. Yep, and then you're going to have, and that's a 300 pound weight limit, just so you know. So you have three drawers here. Wait a second. You can I know, I know. So it's, you can't be more than 700 pounds. It has to be combined. Combined, so yeah. So two 350 pounders can go up at a time. Yeah, but this weight limit is 300. Right. Uh, so, so, so do the math, guys. Anyway, doesn't quite work out. Okay, so you have two drawers here. You have a, a deep one on the bottom and then a more shallow one right up above. You can put some, you know, things here if you want to stack cabinets to keep clothes or things like that. Big shelf up top and you have a nice rod here that you can hang as much clothing as you like. It goes all the way across the closet, which is good. More area in here. Now, you can option in a washer dryer here. Not quite sure of the location of it, but you are able to do that. Finish off the bedroom. You do have an insignia TV here. The bedroom's comfortable. You have this large bed. You've got some nice windows to look out and then your TV if you're in the mood for that. Let's move into the bathroom. This is a decent sized bathroom because it's it's more long than, than wide. So you have a good sized countertop here with some space underneath. Little nice backsplash there, large medicine cabinet. Again, the medicine cabinet and the fridge, I think are a little overkill, <laughs> but it is what it is. Then you have a uh, macerating porcelain toilet here. Another big window if you want people to look at you while you go to the bathroom. And then let's talk about the shower. So I'm gonna call my assistant in a minute to do a shower test. I'm five nine. We're gonna see if Jason, Jason is like six, four and a half. So here's your shower, very basic guys. You have a skylight here. You do have a fan in the bathroom as well, of course. This is not a one piece. You have decent amount of room, but let's bring him in. You have a sliding door here. Let's see how he looks in here. So we're in the bathroom right now. It's a little tight ship. I don't really think this is gonna pass the test for me because if, if I if I swear, you look like some freak show. I'll be I'll, here. I'll do the scene from the Elf. I, I don't fit in here at all. I this this is a fail for me. I don't fit at all. Wow. So I don't think I mentioned this earlier. 330 horsepower, 825 foot-pounds of torque on the 6.7 liter power stroke. So let's get into the price MSRP as well as the asking price. So the MSRP is 330,000 and your sale price here at Leo's is 229.9. Now keep in mind, this is a 2023. Right. We are nearing 2024. I am sure that is a negotiable price. Mm -hmm. But if you want more information, we're going to put Leo's information right over here. Give him a call. Tell him you sent, saw it on Endless RVing, and I'm sure that will work out a great price for you. So one of our subscribers just traded in their Phaeton, large Phaeton, for, I don't know if it's the same floor plan, but it's the same model. I forget, so shout out to Angie and Rose. Hi guys. Let us know guys in the comments so other people can know, how are you enjoying your accolade? And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tourist playlist and we'll put our RV shopping tips playlist. And for myself, MJ and Jason, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.